simplistic, but so symbolic. Something about the letter A has had Alfred, Astra, Ample, continuously reaching for the top, at least in the alphabet, if not with their alpha betters. Alfred says it often got him in trouble at college when he was called to present his homework first. But today, that is our story. An A-class one in many respects. To note, Astra preceded him as one of the first inductees in the Association's Hall of Fame. Alfred and Astra were colleagues first at NBS Radio 610. Alfred joined 610 in 1963 as a news editor broadcast journalist, serving for a year as the station's sports reporter. He rose to current affairs producer, then current affairs manager, and manager of the first ever FM station in the Caribbean, FM 100, and acted as program director. He produced documentaries, presented several programs of every style and content, establishing a number of firsts. He functioned as a broadcast journalist and on-air presenter in various capacities throughout the Caribbean and in North America. He received training on both sides of the Atlantic, at the BBC and at Syracuse University. But it was at 610 Radio he met Astra when she joined in 1972 as a young copywriter studio announcer and the professional teaming up that led to Ample began. In 1974, Ample had a start that can only be described as striking. But that's for the sequel. With advice from management consultants and friends, Philip Nunez and Hazel Brown, and with a loan of $4,000 in their names each from Philip Rochford at NCB, at ages 31 and 28 respectively, they bravely launched their own company, All Media Projects Limited, cheekily claiming the acronym AMPLE. A number of advertising practitioners gave helpful advice the now honorary Dr. Jerry Besson and the now deceased renowned Clive Bradley, the gentleman Clive Belgrave, Ian Collier and Rick Hernandez. Ample got their first job from Hazel Brown, now honorary Dr. Hazel and Helen Camps to do a campaign for the Housewives Association of Trinidad and Tobago promoting breastfeeding. Once again, connecting up with the breast proved to be an unbeatable start to life. What followed were their 43 years of operations, during which Alfred and Team Ample have worked assiduously at making their contribution to this industry and its family of professional disciplines, peer advertising, public relations, marketing, plus a few later rising activities called crisis communications, event management. So, here's what 43 years of that work looks like in 43 seconds. Really, unless you were planning to hire us, you'll have to catch up with the other half hour afterwards. In between that work, Alfred has found time to be chairman of the NCC, 
Director General of Two Carry Festas, Lead Coordinator of Pan Jazz Limited, Commissioner at UNESCO, Board Member at Yahweh Foundation, and Special Advisor to Prime Minister Manning for four years. Today, as a seemingly 74-year-old millennial, Alfred is still Chairman and Managing Director, with Astra's more than able successor, the sister Adonna, as his fellow director spearheading things. Alfred and the Ample team continue to reach for new ways to validate the very name of the agency, with a passion and performance to have clients as good friends and competitors as genuine colleagues. <laughs>